We are exactly one week away from a solar eclipse in Scorpio. And even though I have a full video on this in general, I do want to do a more up-to-date video on being a week away, what the energy, what to expect, what to predict is. This is my new very messy apartment. It's not a studio, but I have the bed in the bedroom because I want it in the corners. I have bedding coming that is covered in blood. Literally, we're just letting out all the angst, all the anger, everything like in this place because I'm going to talk myself at the end of this. So personal update in my, my chart. Stay tuned. But anyway, I want to find a place I can sit and do this. Um, this solar eclipse is uh, on something called the South Nodes. There's a paradoxical quality to it that I'm going to get into. But to reiterate what an eclipse is, it's when the sun and the moon are either on the north or the south node or the extreme north and south point of the sun's orbit around the ecliptic. And the ecliptic is, um, yeah, the sun's orbit. So this is an extreme version of new or full moons. Solar eclipses are an extreme version of a new moon. It's a new beginning on steroids is what myself and I've heard other people say too because yes it's a new moon but its effects are lasting over six months it's a catalyst event over that six month period instead of just a remark on that one month kind of smaller new beginning moving forward so eclipses tend to be some of the most pivotal world events they tend to involve world leaders and major things that will define it in like the wikipedia page for that year ahead so to speak so this one is a solar eclipse meaning a new beginning and you can expect a catalyst towards a new beginning in the Scorpio house in your chart. And I am going to run through each house for each rising sign so that everyone gets an idea of what to expect for this. But because it's a new beginning on the south node and the south node represents releasing or letting go, there's a letting go or a release, a cord cutting in order to have this new beginning. So it's not a clean cut, just like new beginning. Oh, you're starting something new. It's much more of I am like pulling this out so that I can begin anew in this way. Um, I'd say that it involves discomfort because the, the moon and Venus are there and the moon and Venus are debilitated in Scorpio the um, moon is in its fall because it's exalted in Taurus so it shows volatility or a lot of emotional instability rather than feeling comfortable or grounded and Venus is in its antithesis which shows being in a foreign country uh, being in your antithesis as a planet is not exactly as overtly challenging as being in your fall but it does show an amount of feeling out of place feeling like you're starting something that isn't very comfortable or natural to you so to speak but because this does have Venus in Involved, I do like the aesthetic, the harmonious quality to it. So you can expect to have a disruptive new beginning because it is having Uranus in the opposite sign, yes, but um, one that is more around kind of a gut-wrenching letting go or an ending that then turns into a catalyst towards a new beginning. And I'll run through the rising signs now so you get an idea of what to expect and then I'll get a little bit more into details around eclipses and like things like that. But if you're an Aries rising, this is in your eighth house of shared finances or investments. If you're a Taurus rising, this is in your seventh house of close committed relationships. If you're a, uh, a Gemini rising, this is in your sixth house of physical health and also coworkers. If you are a Cancer rising, this is in your fifth house of dating and creativity. If you're a Leo rising, this is in your... Um, um, where, where was I? Fifth house, uh, fourth house of home, family, property, living situation. Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, if you are a Virgo rising, this is in your third house of day-to-day -day routine with things like writing or commuting or people that you see on a daily basis or day-to-day -day writing projects. If you are a Libra rising, this is in your second house of direct income and spending. So not investments, but more so direct income and spending. If you're a Scorpio rising, this is in your first house of self, personality, body, character, which is why I'm saying that Scorpios are entering their villain era because it's a new beginning that involves a letting go and a shedding of skin, kind of like a snake moment. And if you are a Sagittarius rising, this is happening in your 12th house of behind the scenes mental health or hidden matters like addictions or afflictions or a spiritual journey. If you are a Capricorn rising, this is in your 11th house of networking, groups, audience, friends, larger social structures you're a part of. And if you are in Aquarius rising, this is happening in your 10th house of career, publicity, professional life, not publicity as much as just professional life and career. And so, uh, finally, I, I don't know what I was doing. Uh, I don't know what word I was deciding on there. But if you're a Pisces rising, this is happening in your 9th house of foreign travel or higher education. So it's a new beginning that involves a letting go. And this catalyst will be a major new beginning for uh, the next six months. So it's something that will begin. And for some of us, this definitely has already started because Eclipse Shadow is here. So it's less to do with the exact date and more around this period in general, like the second half of October. So we're already in the Eclipse Shadow. Like it's not just 
uh, that period alone that is relevant because eclipses are so long lasting. And you can expect something that involves beauty, that involves aesthetics. Now Mars is squaring Neptune, which shows difficulty in acting directly or with being concise or uh, kind of upfront. So there is a background issue of being unclear or not being direct or not having this uh, courageous action that's really being taken like seriously. But it's not really involved in the details of this solar eclipse because Mars and Neptune are not really in a direct close aspect to anything going on here, so I'm not too concerned about that. But it does show that in the background there is uh, some indirect actions, some cowardice, some difficulty. I'm trying to find where to put this camera. Um, some challenges in regards to taking steps around this. And you can look to the Gemini house in your chart for more clarity around this. Um, because it's not necessarily the end of the world with that kind of thing, but it is in the background that it's a new beginning in the Scorpio area of your life that involves a cord cutting or a letting go. And this will be the most intense for Scorpio placement, specifically around two degrees. But anyone with early degrees of fixed sign placements will have this in a very, in a hard or in a, a close, like, I don't mean hard, like necessarily always challenging, although it can be hard aspect. Like it's one of the uh, quadrant. It's it's either uh, square opposition or conjunction, which are known as the hard aspect, so to speak. I'm just literally going to put where can I put this? Um, so that's a little bit about what to expect for the solar eclipse. And I want to use my chart as an example, because too many of you literal like 40 year old astrologers are coming at me trying to use this some some example, whatever. We're going to get into it because I have things to say and I'm going to get emotional and I'm probably going to break down because I have a photo shoot uh, in a little bit that involves uh, being in the shower and having blood all over me. So I don't give a shit and I'll do a fit check at the end. Even if I'm crying, I don't, I don't care at this point. I'm, I'm literally, I don't, I, I, anyway. So this is happening in my 11th house, which is network, audience, publicity. And if you go back to my Scorpio solar eclipse video that I filmed about two months ago, I said, this is going to be fuckery for me. Every time the moon is in Scorpio, someone tries to come out, accuse me of bullshit. I'm literally one of, I would say, arguably in kind of my niche, my range, I overshare online. There, I'm not hide. I'm literally oversharing, which is how people pick and choose things to make me out to be some grand conspiracy, grand fraud, thief kind of thing. Um, so I said that this was going to be some fuckery, but also that because Venus was involved and Venus was very close to my Chiron, I think it was going, there's someone outside that's like listening. Um, and it was going to be some type of like creative new beginning with that as well, but that I'm going to be very difficultly letting something go. Now, this gets into also the fact that it's very close to my midheaven. The MC or the midheaven in the chart refers to public image and your outermost extension of yourself. So seeing that was like, okay, shit, there's going to be some rumor, some controversy, some bullshit going on that does lead to um, a very difficult PR. I literally talk about it. I'm like, there's going to be PR insanity. Side note, I need a publicist. I literally don't have anyone. It's just me. I don't have a publicist. I don't have a manager. Please, like, I, I, this has, this is three years too late now. I should be, I should already be on this. Anyway, I saw a, a letting go, a painful letting go in, um, with the South Node crossing my Midheaven, which some astrologers were taking out to be inherently negative. The North and the South Node are challenging, but I wouldn't say that this is something like having Saturn on my Mars or something where it's like overtly the malefics. It's a little bit different because it's a cord cutting and a letting go. So of course, during this time, absolute bullshit goes on. And I will explain this fully. I have a full Substack article on this because this is actually the most bizarre thing I've ever seen kind of witch hunt going after me for. This is very bizarre. So my one sponsor that was committed, exclusive, very serious for the first two, or no, it was April, May, I believe of this year was Celsius. I was open about it. Literally was a commercial break in my episode sponsored by Celsius. I reached out to every major exchange that I was using, had used, kind of was working with um, in early 2022 because I was like, look, I don't have a sponsor. I see all these other crypto people having a major sponsor. I should reach out. I should get on it. And I landed on Celsius. I like their creative team a lot. They were really kind, obviously. Like, I hope that the creative side of people is okay. And as soon as the, like, Celsius went under, my contract had been long over. They suddenly cut us off sometime in May. They're like, this is going to be the last set of videos. Thank you for your work. And I was only two months in. So I was a little confused, but I was like, that's kind of scary. Like two months in, um, obviously this is kind of like the influencers that worked for the fire festival. You risk your reputation, but you believe that you're going to grow your brand due to the impressive or legitimate feelings that you get from this company. And you're like, yeah, I'm going to work with you. I will put my brand on the line. You will put your brand on the line so we can work together to think that I was colluding with Celsius during this time is, is defamatory and insane. I do not know anything about their financial back end, nor does anyone who is not working on the financial arm. Like it's not like me and the creative director at all knew these things that were going on behind the scenes, which I don't even fully understand kind of what's going on behind the scenes, which like is why I'm just not even, I am, I'm nothing to say other than 
I obviously disclosed when I was paid. And for the comment that's being taken out of context saying, I said I was not paid shit for an interview because I, I acted reactively and I was offended that someone would ask that after seeing me be overtly, overtly disclosed for months. I did eight total, total videos with them for $30,000, which I'm open about. Literally, I'm open about. There's no hiding. You saw the spreadsheet if you were that insane that you searched my name in 14,000 pages and really wanted to see that. For someone with millions of followers, a five figure, low, low to mid five figure like deal for eight videos is nothing that I'm ashamed to announce, say anything like that. So some people are saying I'm a paid shill. I was paid in USD. I was not paid anything, keeping it quiet and then dumping. Like this was like a normal brand contract. Are people that dense? Do I live in another version of the, do I live in the Truman Show? I literally think I'm going crazy. I think I'm going crazy. So with people taking me out of context that I respected as investigative accounts, investigative journalists, I feel shocked, frankly, I feel shocked because accounts that I saw as almost pioneers of weeding out bad actors took one screenshot out of context and completely have not backtracked their statements or really openly been like, look, she literally had a commercial ad break. It was not a, co oh my God. So I immediately, once that shit went down, I was like, oh my gosh, they have been paying me for ads and now they've lost all these funds. That is insane. Um, so I can say, Obviously, I guess you guys went. I have PTSD from taking on ever another sponsor like that. I literally PTSD. There were some sponsors that I finished up recently that I had agreed to months ago. But unless you're a fucking sparkling water or like tennis ball company, I am literally terrified. I'm getting death rape threats out the window for something that was openly disclosed months ago. This is insane. This is insane. And side note to anyone who's becoming a creator, do not trust journalists. This is where I'm going to get like emotional because I was talking to Coindesk about my side of things, about how insane this is and how people have harassed me so much about having a home in Dubai that I just have to sell it because the pe like people accusing me of, of sleeping with people or being an escort don't, don't understand that the level of harassment I've dealt with has led me to become literally like a wild feral animal. I do not understand getting close to anyone, let alone sleeping with, like I cannot imagine getting close to anyone because I don't trust people to such a high degree that like when people ask me for directions in the street, often I literally jump back and I'm like, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. I, I want to write a book actually about how the level of this leads you to become a feral animal and be so distrustworthy that like, I feel like I'm like, like, you know what I mean? When you see like wild feral animals in the corner, like I recognize those traits in myself and I am shocked. I, I'm, I'm nothing short of shocked um, that you would, do you think that the people promoting the fire festival were in on that? This is insane. You're fucking with someone's life here. And like the rumors and assumptions and narrative that Coindesk took was a flat out betrayal. And that is atrocious because we were talking about my side of the story about how insane this is to where you work with a company because you think they're legitimate and admire them. And if you're one of the people who was like, I saw it from the beginning, props off to you. You're the one who can literally shoot me dead. Props off to you. Um, but to then turn it around and figurehead it, which no one was bringing up that they thought I was colluding with them. People that I didn't disclose because the people after me do not watch my videos and they're making up unsubstantiated claims without realizing that I probably overshare and am more transparent than I literally, like, I don't even know where to begin. Um, but seeing that, seeing a journalist and literally the audacity of the journalist to send it to me and then say, be safe, knowing, knowing that they like, literally called me a poop witch. Do you have any idea how much I reiterated to them that I like this has, and I've been open about this and this is kind of what I want to get into is like the manifestation of this eclipse. Um, like I think about taking my own life a lot and this is so sad. Um, like around the time that this article came out, I knew it was going to happen and like immediately started. And like the sad thing is uh, I started looking at guns again and um, immediately I realized I have to tell someone, I have to tell people because I knew that this was gonna blow up. And then the audacity for people who literally know this to keep going at it and say things that are so out of line and so untrue to the level of like, there's, they like, do you have me? Like they were my only sponsor and this happens. I'm in shock. And this is in no way me saying that people aren't validated for like being like, okay, well we can't trust her sponsors now. I'm gonna unfollow her. This was a risk on my part and it failed to me to take this. And the sad thing is, like I said, I was the one approaching these companies. If they had a financial problem, they should have said no to me. I am always the one approaching my sponsors 90% of the time. I cannot think of a single sponsor I kept going with that was like not me asking them. So this recently when I started, like I just remember it being like, I have to go back to Houston to get some things. Like, I think I'm gonna get it. Like, that's so sad. That is so sad. Um, and I realized that, um, with like, I'm gonna get now astrology wise with it, but like with these eclipse being a new beginning, like I need to start making 
anti-suicide content because that's all I think about. Like, it's literally all I think about when so many people also helped connect me with all these exchanges that could go online. They could say, I literally was the one who connected her with them because I had an intro. I, I can talk about this. And they li literally, I am in shock. Or people will DM me saying, I'm sorry they got to you, LMAO, but they are there liking these people that know that they're just, they're using their platform to come after me knowing that they're just clout chasing or I am literally in shock. So for anyone, I'm literally gonna use a dirty sock as like a tissue right now, this is gross. For people saying that I was colluding with them or are you fucking stupid? Are you, do I live in an alternate reality? I literally feel like I'm in an alternate reality. And I realize that I, I really need to start talking more about this because the level of like becoming a actual feral wild animal and not trusting anyone and being terrified of people is, um, I wouldn't wish this on anyone. And I am in shock that there's people that I have no idea who you are, but you've been coming at me for years saying that I took your content. I don't know you. I literally don't know you. You wish I did. And then I, I, I'm having, I am sending legal action anyway, just because of the severity of it and the claims there, like right now it's, it's, it's happening. Um, and I'm using literally my own, like I am paying for this because I want it to stop because I'm going to be very, very vocal now about like anti-suicide content like this is literally all all i think about um and it's sad too when i know that like just family members calling other family members hoping that i'm alive and it's um it's shocking like do these people live in an alternate universe i'm literally i'm convinced that i'm in an episode of the truman show where for me i'm doing a normal ad deal the company goes bankrupt and i'm like oh my god well no wonder they cut me and people are saying, oh my God. So basically the new beginning and the letting go is like, I am done with everyone, like all of you. I'm in shock. Um, I am in, I am, oh my God. Um, I'm done with all you, but I'm going to, I think every day do a post about like three things I am alive for today because that's what I try to do. Um, but I just hate this because it means that I'm constantly neurotic. I am um, like dissociative to a level where you're just scrolling and you're seeing all this and you're in shock. I can't, literally can't eat. Literally, I, I will just immediately just, it's it's so bad. And in my workouts, I'm literally going so hard because I'm like, I want to die, I want to pass out. Like, it's horrible. Um, so I think being open about this so that I can start creating content that can help people who might not to this level, but might feel like they're so misunderstood they want to leave. Maybe that can, I, I'm just gonna start doing it. I've been wanting to do a podcast for a while and it's always felt disingenuous and like I didn't want to talk with anyone, but maybe I can start talking with, there's there's a lot of actually mental health accounts that are similar, this like anti-cancel, stop taking people out of context, stop harassment accounts. And I would love to start speaking with them um, because I do like long form content. I just didn't feel like there was an in, something I was interested in, but maybe there's enough mental health podcasts out there, but like, oh my, do I, literally do I live in an alternate universe where I can go back and I could say, I wish I'd said I wasn't paid shit for this interview, but I was paid $30,000 total. Would that make you happy? Like, of course I can go back in hindsight, but the issue is that continuing to take people out of context and you people don't even watch my videos, I'm convinced. Cause I'm so open about this. I'm literally so open about the fact that like this. Um, so in, in no way, in no way is this a um, feel sorry for me. This is like a transparency of, oh my God, this is all I think about. This is all I consider. And when I'm looking up, when I'm looking up um, how to buy a gun near where I will be, I know that it like literally either, this is so sad, either fucking do it or be really open about this so maybe you can help other people. Um, and that's where I'm at. Like it's, I have no words and I wouldn't wish this on anyone. And I just hope that I can not flinch at people again. Um, I, that that's my main thing but anyway that's how the solar eclipse is like a very cord cutting like literally screw all of you like all of you that kept quiet or did something like you don't understand like i just i have no words um and all my in real life friends are like not big online so they don't really have a way to like go defend me i guess you could say but it's sad too because no one can say anything without being called a simp not knowing that i'm literally scared of all of you like i don't are scared physically i'm not scared like i don't know whatever but i hope that this reaches some of you that think that buying a narrative and I will literally every day this is all this is I, I literally can't be any louder at this point this is all this is rock bottom and last time I was very suicidal for actually no because I've been suicidal a few times I mean I was suicidal during my initial mom coming after me that was like I was incapacitated I literally couldn't have picked up a gun I literally was like vegetative on the floor um 
but when I was very, when I was in high, when I was in college, when I was very early in college and I felt like I was so confused, I just like kind of wanted to wither away. What got me through was writing a book and wanting the book to show for itself. And I wrote about killing myself. You can find my books on Amazon if you really want. Um, I think I need to write a book like metaphorically about turning into a wild animal, animal because you, like a person who's just falsely mob, just the mob attack so many times is like, I am no longer a person. I am I am just like in the corner shaking. So that's a little bit about the eclipse as well as my personal life update. I could have kept these separate, but no, 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 no. Anyway, here's a little bit of a fit check. I have a doll's kill haul because I had some credits that were gonna run out and I wanted to get some new closet things since I sold a ton on Depop. But if you wanna see this outfit, this is what it is. This is an Ed Hardy top with a string. I don't know if this is actually how you wear it, but it's really long, so I did it like this. This is very see-through. You can't see that. Okay, good. Um, it's cute. So I love how I'm going crying about suicide and dying into like, this is my fit check. It's really comfy. And I might wear it for some pictures once my photographer comes. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, much um, appreciation to you all. Let me know your thoughts about the eclipse below. And um, yeah, that's all I got.